let's build a chat application using cloud ai within minutes so that's the prompt which i passed to create this entire application build status here as you can see it's asking for my cloud api key with just a test api right anything there because it's just a dummy thing so if i click as you can see this is the cloud online and as you can see it's responsive and working perfectly fine let's say a uh, hi how are you what's the masses so now the cloud will respond as you can see interesting to tell you more about you so just a dummy masses but you know it's interacting so uh can you help me it just uh going through the messages and all messages are coming through a dummy but as you see it's working perfectly fine if i reveal the code as you can see this is the entire segment of code which is provided if i copy that code and as you can see i'm just running a simple application over wait here which is just looking forward to have the test application the one catch is that i configure the tailwind css over here so this is uh, running using the tailwind css and if you just go back to the tailwind css.com you can see in the get started over there you can find everything to just start with tailwind css within the wait project and now as i have the code if i just go back here and in that app.tsx don't need to set up route or anything i just save that and as you can see my application is right there so i'll just go with any kind of key here just to provide the api and hi and as you can see this working perfectly fine and it's pretty fine it's interesting and you can also the message queue so how are you so are you okay so as you can see i can pass it will non-blocking application i will just write something or write something there it's not blocking for particular request and it's just passing the data rendering initial uh, scenario and as i just provide that and share with ratio i can just uh, make maximum within height property and others so right now as you can see this is the way you can create now for you how you can create that one as you can see i will just copy this entire thing and from there over this portion i will take a new chat over here and let's pass that to create a like a separate one which will be let's create a chat and this uh, common prompt it will be in the description i'll provide that to, to you and i got it from that uh, cloud api website there so now as you can see it will just let's create a chat app using the cloud api where users can send multiple messages in a row without waiting for responses first include typing indicators and read receipts cloud should respond with short casual text style messages which will be the lowercase abbreviations so this is kind of when you get it working make the artifact so this kind of just set up to get back through so hit enter and after entering cloud maybe sometimes the design may be changed if you want to tune the same design you need to work with the design but other things it will work perfectly fine so after doing that as you can see cloud gonna pass of uh, cloud gonna pass for that uh, and i'm sorry if you feel that cloud and cloud is just getting the same of that so it will just go with the prototype message and others the thought process if you want to read you can go with that now i will give few minutes or not minutes just a just a minute or a couple of some seconds depending on your internet connection the cloud will finish its job now you can see all the setup is done now we start building the process to make the application okay our application is ready but design is little bit different and as you know it can be the same if you tune it properly so it just up to you need to say what you wanted to do so as you can see this is the similar setup which we have previously the single page application even i copy this entire segment and if i go back to my uh, over here and let's say in my app i will just uh, paste this one so that i would be able to see there is some uh, misunderstanding is going on uh, which is the coming through the messages but you know uh, i think it didn't follow the typescript parameter properly but you need to say it how it can go through it so now if i just put a test uh, key here and start chatting or you can directly go with the demo i'll just say hi and as you can see it will simply reply with the same pattern and it will go with that and if you just go directly on the cloud to asking all the dummy messages are kind of dummy as you can see it's generating the dummy messages but it's working perfectly fine it will depends on what kind of greetings and what kind of stalking you are going through it so this kind of project really it can help you to go and generate the possibility how the things can run how the messaging can work it's very simple but effective so try your best to 
to do that and let me know in the comments what what is how is catching that to you and of course there is a lot of things gonna coming up which we're gonna cook slowly and we're going to build that ai chat hub which are gonna have that regarding for all like chat gbt grok gemini cloud all accessible key should be there and i'm gonna show you how you can build that from the scratch we're gonna do that but this kind of thing just to have you understanding of what kind of things you can do and how you can easily capture the method so all the best try yourself in the cloud and let me know in the comments what you prefer and stay tuned because that is coming very soon so all the best stay with me and do subscribe the channel and i'm gonna see you in the next video